Defender of Argus. Uh, it's going to pair well with Divine Shield is one thing. Hey, there's a chat message. So it's going to pair well with the Divine Shield. The other is Defender's really good in aggro decks because it's uh, one thing it buffs your board, which is obvious, but the fact that it like, gives you taunt means that you can keep being aggressive and it forces the opponent um, to have to be have to like attack your minions, right? Like you just keep going phase and not worry about having to die in response. It's a little bit better if you have some direct face damage to back it up. So, um, Soulfire comes to mind, um, because that's where we mostly see it is in Warlock. Uh, Doppelgangster is like one of the reasons that you play this. And I've, I'm pausing here because I've really thought about the idea of running Acidic Swamp Ooze and Harrison Jones. Almost um, one copy of each. And Acidic Swamp Ooze right now is better. The reason being is that the decks that are running weapons are aggressive. And so you want to be able to drop it early, um, contest the board, take out their early weapons. But Harrison Jones can like come down later and actually provide like a lot of benefit. I want to try one out, and again, it's targeted at the weapon classes, obviously, which are pretty popular. But it also like if it does destroy the weapon, we get a card draw of that. That goes pretty well with our theme, which is keeping our hand full, um, so that these hand buffs have something to do throughout the game. So we get a lot of value out of those. Well, I think we're starting to get like too far up in cost. We do want to be more aggressive. Alright, so what am I missing? Something like Abusive Sergeant is good because of just how aggressive we are. Some versions running Egg, Dragon Egg. Mm, I'm a little iffy on that. The particular version I'm looking at is actually running the Pirate Package. And I don't think that's where we're at. Um. I think the pirate package is pretty good. I just don't have patches, and we're not going to craft patches. I really do like the idea of Defender of Argus, um, and it is going to help us fill out our four slot. Paladin actually has a pretty packed four slot overall, but it's not really minions, right? We, we see the Blessing of Kings, Consecration, and then, of course, True Silver. Um, Murloc Knight we tend to think of as like a six drop and actually not a four drop. I mean, obviously you can play it. So having the defender in at four is just going to be like really strong. And last thing I want, I really want something to, to keep our card draw going. I don't know what that is. Why don't we do that? I would like a dude that draws a spell that kind of fits what we're doing. And I don't really think... Uh, like the novice engineer is not aggressive enough. We're not running enough... We're not running well any spell damage to really justify the Blood Mage Thalnos. 
Acolyte of Pain is maybe a little bit on the too defensive side. Cult Master actually may be really interesting, to be honest. Um, yeah. I don't want to run the Azure Drake. Like, even like a 4 4 cycle is actually pretty good, but like, look at our 5 slot. And the Loot Order is just not very strong overall. Maybe we can afford to run a, a, another spell. Like a divine, no, our hand's too big for divine favor. Well, maybe we're good. Thoughts? Suggestions? Small time recruits is an interesting one. I do have the selfless hero in currently. Let's try that. I want to play with that card some anyway. Let's try this. Uh, I need just like a couple of wins, and we'll actually hit 200 gold. At which point, I'll probably crack open. Some mean street packs and also have a classic pack to crack open from I guess the tavern bowl. Yeah. Acidic Swamp Ooze is going to play, pay dividends in like every game. Uh, I'm going to keep the Argent Squire. Like, Rogue can kill off with just their weapon, but they have to basically trade a lot into it to do that. At the very least, they're going to have to do two mana. Um, and you just don't really expect him to, you know, use another card on it. The Outdoor Peacekeeper, I think it's like too soon for that. Although there is an argument that Tomb Pillager might be a pretty good target for that. I'm a little iffy. We really want to get to our buff spells. And Abusive Sergeant, I would keep if I was planning on trading up with anything. Um, and it could be SI7 Agent. Maybe what we want to trade up into. But I'd rather like kind of aggressively mulligan for our hand buff cards. Especially early. Do you really want to start the Feast of Wintervale uh, Happy feast emotes with me? Thank you. Hell rise, man. Rouse. Riles, man. Accidents, they happen, you know. Happy Feast of Wintervale, child. Happy Feast of Winter. Happy Feast of Wintervale, champion. I'm pretty confident when I say that Paladin has the best Happy Winterville, Winterville emote. Champion. Uh, so, I mean, like, taking out his weapon here is just, like, not very good. That's gotta be pretty obvious, Don't right? The here. Yeah. I did. I did grade your test. Check focus. Man, if you were uh, following me on Twitter, you would know. You would know I stayed way too late. Trying to get those grades in. I'm pretty sure we're like already losing this game. Oh, 
throwing this guy out, if he deals with one of the three threes, I still have two more that can actually like trade in. That may or may not be a thing. Incredible. By the holy light. Thank you. Me. That's all he's doing with the I guess. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Um, we can basically full clear here, right? And end up with a 4 4 on board. I don't know, we really want to get this guy out. And get around the buffs. <laughs> Swamp is his uh, light's justice. Which is good if he has, you know, deadly poison or something, but we should probably just wait on the deadly poison. Uh, I mean, part of me really wants to play this. Because, I mean, obviously it's going to buff the rest of my hand, but it also makes the most use of my mana. But I don't know if this is something I can pass up. Quickly. None may steal our seeds. Oh, we're super excited if he deadly poisons. Like, I'm, I'm almost trying to bait out the deadly poison. But I don't know if that's something that this aggressive decks for a while. <laughs> okay. Well, never mind what everything I was just saying. Uh, options, Loot Hoarder, Cidic Swamp Booze, Make a Minion, or the Grime Street Enforcer, Selfless Hero. Uh, I like the Grime Street Enforcer, just because we get more value out of, out of what we're playing here. And I'm going to attack here, because that means if he wants to take out this guy, he's likely going to use his face, which is actually going to attack on even you know, more damage. Kind of. I do, I do have a Twitter, hence the uh, Twitter icon in the upper right hand corner. Uh, it's the Arraylist exam, Arraylist exam. Obviously I've forgotten about the Arraylist exam prep. Yeah, it's great on blackboard. I just need to throw it into focus. Mind if I roll knee? Not in my house. Reporting for duty. I feel like I'm about to die. To just like Leroy. Him having six cards and doing almost nothing is. Uh, surprising to say the least. Oh yeah, sap it. Oh, sap that too, that's what I would do. Put your faith in no. the light. I think there's some argument to keeping the Divine Shield on the Keeper of Ultimate. Oh, I kind of love that he just used Saps. You can't do anything about this kid. This guy's toast. Zach, I'm late because I stayed and graded everything. Um, so part of me wants to continue to control the board because I'm at 11. I mean, he's not going to, like, sap this out of anywhere, so I, I think that's, you know... Let me think. Um, like a, a good argument for not trying to control the board. I think what I will do is actually attack in here, because that forces him to, like, have a spell or, like, use his minion or face to, to break the divine shield. Let me think. 
Yeah. And we're just gonna 